What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today we are back with a brand new video that I've been wanting to do a little bit now. You guys know that we have entered into the year of 2023 and with that means a new year, a new year for WWE and WWE action figures of course here on the My Damn Toys YouTube channel. Now it is Super Bowl Sunday. I'd love to know your Super Bowl pick down in the comment section below. So let me know down below. Are you Team Chiefs or Team Eagles? Personally, I'm from Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Home of the University of Alabama. Home of the Crimson Tide. And if you guys were on a where Jalen Hurts did come from here and he was one of my favorite players while he was at Alabama. He's a terrific talent and I would probably pick the Eagles anyway. I just think they have the better defense in my opinion. I think they're going to rise to the challenge here. So I'm going to be Philadelphia Eagles for this game tonight. I'm going to be going hard for Jalen. Hope he wins. Hope he wins MVP as well as Devontae Smith also from Alabama. Alabama legend. So I'm going Philadelphia Eagles but that has nothing to do with today's video. I just like to think about it and say it. Now getting into today's video man, I wanted to discuss the WWE Ultimate Edition line. Yes, the Ultimate Edition is probably the most famous or the most well-known. Eh, maybe not, just because it doesn't have the shelf life of the WWE Elite Collection, of course, from Mattel. But the Ultimate Edition line is a line that came and it has made huge waves. I think everybody just looks forward to the Ultimate Edition lines. I've seen people, a lot of people actually, completely get rid of their Elite Collections and only collecting Ultimates thus far. I've seen people start mint on card and loose collections of Ultimates. People love the Ultimate Edition line, man. It's probably the most beloved line in the Mattel space for WWE. WWE and wrestling action figures and it's probably the top of the line when you look at all wrestling figures across every single independent company jazz wears Mattel wrestling action figures alike ultimate editions have set the standard I think for wrestling collectibles at the top tier so in today's video, man, I'm going to be giving you five Ultimate Editions that I want to see revealed this year. Like, at least in the next couple years, but five Ultimate Editions that I think we are missing and five Ultimate Editions that I want to see personally for my own collection. And I kept them realistic. I kept them inside the box. I think these are completely obtainable, and I'm very excited for them, man. So with all that being said, let's go ahead and dive into my list. You guys can leave me your list down in the comment section below, and I hope to God we see some of these and possibly all of these within the next couple years. So let's start off first, man. I'm going with 2001 Kurt Angle. Yes, I want to see an Ultimate Edition Kurt Angle specifically from 2001. Now, if they wanted to give me a bald angle or they wanted to give me a certain Kurt Angle, as long as it wasn't like a modern, modern, you know, like uber modern Kurt Angle figure, I'd be okay with it. You know, I'd take a 02, 03, 04, 05. I'd take any of those versions, but a 2001 Kurt Angle is what I'm really wanting. Unforgiven 01 would be money. I think it could come with like track pants. It could come with the It's True, It's True T shirt. Maybe it could come with a different shirt. I think the track suit would be an incredible for a Kurt Angle figure. Of course, it's going to include the medals, maybe the WWF Championship. I'd say, you know, a yelling expression for like the ankle lock. You know, the butterfly joints would really be perfect for locking in that ankle lock, you know, for the angle slam. I mean, there's so many things here. He was one of my first favorite wrestlers ever, man. Him, Chris Jericho, Chris Benoit, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Those were my first four just top guys that I just loved watching and just fell in love with the profession, fell in love with the sport, man. Without those guys, who knows if I'd even be a wrestling fan. So Kurt Angle is one of my top tiers, man. He is the ultimate which is why I was so disappointed when he returned to team with uh, team up with the Shield later on. Why that Shield figure sucks. I'm the biggest Kurt Angle guy you'll find. And I just have to have this Kurt Angle in my collection, man. I Give it to us, Mattel. I, I could just see it right now. Men on card. Beautiful. Just chef's kiss. I want to see this. Kurt Angle is probably one of... If, 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 I, none of these are in order particularly. But Kurt Angle is probably my number one if I had to say. So I wanted to get him out here first. Next up is going to be an ECW One Night Stand Rob Van Dam. Yes, so it really doesn't have to be the One Night Stand gear. I just think that it's iconic, and I think that it would probably sell the most. It's got the most historical value, mostly. You know, you could go with his Money in the Bank gear, but that is the beauty of this One Night Stand gear. I think you could give him the ECW Championship. You could give him the Spinner WWE Championship that came with our Elite 100 John Cena, and you could throw in that custom Mr. Money in the Bank briefcase that RVD was toting around. We could finally get some new head sculpts for RVD. He'd have the butterfly joints, the Rob Van Dam pose hands. I doubt we'd probably get any cloth goods if you're getting two championships and a money in the bank briefcase. However, I think you give him a, you know, a stone looking head sculpt, you know, a grinning, smiling head sculpt, and then you could give him like a pissed off face or a gritting face, similar to what we had with Jax back in the day. This figure, I actually made a mock-up of this on my Instagram maybe a year or two ago, and I said, you know, this is what I'm waiting on. It's like ringside exclusive RVD one night stand with all the things I just mentioned, interchangeable hands, all those different things. And it ended up getting, I don't even know how many likes it was. 
was, man. It was like four or 5,000 likes. So people really do want this figure. I think that it is very well received. A lot of people are wanting this RVD. That is one of my, I'd probably put this at my number two want from Mattel in Ultimate Edition form. I think it's just, it kind of writes itself, right? I think that it's something that is easily doable, so much like Kurt Angle. You know, when you have the rights, you go ahead and do this, man. This is something that we need to have in our Ultimate Edition lines, and they fit perfectly in there. I guess you could put them in the Defining Moments line coming soon in the Ringside Exclusive Defining Moments line, which could be a thing for this RVD, but I think that the Ultimate Edition line would be just Chef's Kiss. Maybe a couple Legends for the Target Exclusive, maybe in the main line. Doesn't really matter to me, Brad. I would pay whatever money to get my hands on both the Kurt Angle and the Rob Van Dam Ultimate Edition. Now moving right along, now this one's epic. This is one that I've thought about for many years. I've even spoke to Mattel about this one, like passed this info along like, yo, this is something we need and it's going to be, this would probably have to be a San Diego Comic Con exclusive. You guys know that in San Diego Comic Con exclusives with Mattel, they always do some pop culture reference or crossover and with the love of Spider-Man and the hype of all the Spider-Man figures we're getting this year, all the Spider-Man figures we're going to be getting the last couple years coming out of No Way Home at the end of 2021. This one makes the most sense for me, man. It's going to be a Mattel WWE Ultimate Edition San Diego Comic Con exclusive Bone Saw Macho Man Randy Savage. This one writes itself, man. There is no way in hell this shouldn't be a thing. Bone Saw Macho Man with a steel chair, with a crazy head sculpt and his epic gear. He's got all of his his belts and his buckles and his chains. I mean, this guy is a beautiful looking action figure waiting to be created. I think that they have the tooling, they have the head sculpts. This is something that we need to make and come to fruition. I think that, you know, I, I've discussed a little bit behind the scenes with them. I passed the info along. I said, bro, this is something that needs to be made. They said, yeah, that would make a lot of sense, but you know, nothing's approved, nothing's concrete or confirmed, but I did pass it along. You know, I did all I could do. All I could do was throw the ball into their court, and now, you know, they have the information, so I guess, you know, we'll see what happens, but the Bonesaw Macho Man Randy Savage Ultimate Edition San Diego Comic-Con exclusive is something that I desperately want to see, as Spider-Man being one of my all-time favorite films, franchises, characters, comic book characters, all that, you know, all of the above, that checks all the boxes for me. Very nostalgic, ties into the Tobey Maguire Spider-Man we're going to be getting this year, from all the different lines. I mean, this honestly makes the most sense, bro. I think that if they would have put this in a year ago, maybe it could be in time for this year's San Diego Comic-Con exclusive. I don't know. Maybe they could pull some strings. I'm a, I, I don't know, but this is one that I want to see. This, I think this is one that could happen. It's going to take a lot of approvals, I think, like with all the different licenses and IPs you got to, you know, address, but that is one I desperately want to see. So I went with Macho Man Randy Savage from Spider-Man Bonesaw right there would be an epic figure. All right, next up. You may not see this one coming, Brad, but I went with Rowdy Roddy Piper. I think a lot of people are missing a Rowdy Roddy Piper in their collection. I think that, you know, we've gotten some cool elites over the years. We've gotten some great things going on, but I think if you really want to get that epitoma of Rowdy Roddy Piper, you want that money zone Roddy Piper, I think the Ultimate Edition line is where you go. You get the double jointed arms, the pinless joints, a brand new torso for him. I think that the Shawn Michaels fan takeover torso would be perfect for him. You know, not with the chest hair and stuff, but you give him that torso. You give him all his cloth goods, his hot rod shirt. He's got his kilt. He's got his good stuff going on. You give him all the bells and whistles, blue gear, some yelling head sculpts, some frantic head sculpts, a pissed off head sculpt, a smiling head sculpt. I mean, this is just chalk it up, man. This would be epic. I'm all for that. I, this is something I desperately want to see, and I think this could come to fruition. I think that this is the one that I want to see for sure. Now, it wouldn't shock me to see this in maybe the Coliseum collection. It wouldn't even shock me maybe if it was the next Coliseum collection. You know, give us, you know, Roddy Piper in the Coliseum collection, Mattel Creations exclusive wave. Could definitely see it in his red gear with his red knee pads. Wouldn't shock me at the slightest. It would not shock me at the slightest to see Roddy Piper as a part of the Coliseum collection, but that remains to be seen. That is something we'll have to, you know, play by ear, but Roddy Piper is one that I desperately want to see this year, and hopefully we will see it. But let's get into my last pick for the Ultimate Edition line, at least in the next couple years I want to see it, and apparently there's a rumor on, on, the, on the wavelengths, on the grapevine, I hear it, Brad. Apparently this person is coming in the Ultimate Edition line after Seth Rollins and Andre the Giant. If you guys were unaware there's a rumor that or apparently it's like it's all but confirmed by Mattel at this point that Randy Orton and Macho Man Randy Savage will be in Ultimate Edition 18 and I think that Randy Orton would be beautiful to fit into Ultimate Edition Series 18, but I went with a throwback Orton just because I don't know how they're going to do the two-in-one gimmick with the tattoos over the torso. I just don't think it would make sense to do a two-in-one figure. I think that they may do it, but if they do that, I don't think I don't think it'll look as good because again, he has he has tattoos that 
go onto his pecs, and there's no way to like make that interchangeable. And I don't think if you just put him on the butterfly joints, it'll look good. So I, I don't know about that. But Backlash 2004 Randy Orton is what I would like to see. And if they went with a modern Randy Orton, I've told, I've said this before, but a WrestleMania 31 Orton would be perfect for modern day. We haven't seen that gear. They're both red. They're both like black, white, and red. Or you know, the WrestleMania 31 is kind of a gray, red, and black. But Backlash 2004 Randy Orton, maybe give him a barbed wire bat. You could have a yelling head sculpt. Or you could have you know the straight face head sculpt that we've seen kind of a few times now. The red gear cloth evolution shirt. You know, give people a reason to buy the shirt. Maybe you could give him like a sleeveless cloth RKO shirt from this time or the evolution shirt. I'd say give him a bloody head sculpt. It's not going to happen with Mattel, but it would be perfect. You know, you could customize it or fix it up and make it look bloody from that moment. Maybe give us a thumbtack bag or something like that from the matchup. It would be really cool to see him come with a trash can full of goodies, but I'm not going to put that over. I just, uh, I don't know. I don't see them doing that for us, but I think if you give us this figure, give him the Rick Rude torso from the new Ultimate Edition that's coming soon, the Coliseum Collection. This is a Money Zone Ultimate Edition figure, and that is Randy Orton. So I went with Backlash 04 Randy Orton, but that is my complete list. Five Ultimate Editions I want to see in 2023 from WWE and Mattel. All of these are absolutely doable, maybe outside of Bonesaw, you know, a lot of curves and loops to get through with that one, but I think that it's not out of the realm of possibility, you know what I mean? I think that, that maybe they could get that approved, and I think sales for that figure would be incredible, because you get the Marvel Legends guys, you get the people that collect all kinds of Spider-Man figures, that is one that I think a lot of people will be high about but that is going to wrap up my five ultimate editions i want to see from WWE and Mattel in their Ultimate Edition line, man. But I'm getting the hell out of here. I hope you guys did enjoy. I'd love to know your thoughts down below. Do not forget to leave me five Ultimate Edition guys you want to see. Leave me your thoughts on my picks as well. Also, do not forget to leave me your Super Bowl pick down in the comments section below. But I'm getting out of here, man. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a blessed one, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>